guys and welcome to the family fudge today I'm going to share with you what I'm putting in my four kids Easter baskets this year so stay tuned Okay guys, now before we get started, make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you love Easter baskets. Now let's get started. If you're not already familiar, I have four kids. Mackenzie, who's eight, Jackson, who's six, Lily, who's four, and Griffin, who's almost two years old. For my oldest three kids, I like to keep things as even as possible. So I'll go ahead and show you their baskets first. And then I'll go ahead and show you what I'm putting in my preschooler's basket because he's not quite old enough to have everything that the older kids have in theirs. And you guys, I definitely tried to go with a Disney theme with these baskets this year since we love Disney and almost everything that I'm putting in these baskets came from Walmart. So I'm starting off each basket with a couple of sheets of tissue paper at the bottom. I like to use the tissue paper instead of grass because it's not as messy. First up, I have a book for each child. And yes, these are Disney themed books as well. For Mackenzie, I have Welcome Spring. This is a Frozen book. For Jackson, I have Thumper Finds a Friend. Thumper from the movie Bambi, of course. And for Lily, I have a Minnie Mouse book. Next, I have some really fun Disney art sets. These are fun on the go sets and they come with markers, a coloring book, and stickers. I got the Minnie Mouse one for Lily, Jackson gets the Star Wars, and Mackenzie gets Rapunzel. Next, it wouldn't be Easter in our house without some fun bubbles. For Mackenzie, I got the one with princesses. For Lily, of course, I got her Minnie Mouse. And I couldn't find any Star Wars bubbles. They were all sold out. So for Jackson, I just got the blue Peeps bubbles. Sticking with the Disney theme, I also picked out these treat containers. Now these are a lot like Easter eggs that you might put candy in, but these ones are really fun Disney shapes. Now I'm not gonna fill these quite yet because we still have a ways to go until Easter. So I'll go ahead and just put them in the baskets for now. When it gets closer to Easter, I'll go ahead and fill these. But instead of candy, in two of the containers, I'm going to put these cheddar buddies. And in the other container, I'm going to put a package of these bunny fruit snacks. Now something I know the kids are going to love, I got them each one of these gigantic chocolate eggs. There's actually a chocolate dinosaur inside. Now so far these baskets have pretty much been the same, but I do have something specific for each child as well. I wanted to make sure to put something in each basket that was going to last longer than just Easter day or Easter week, something they could use all spring. So for Lily, I got these really cute Minnie Mouse shoes at Walmart. They were less than $10, and I know she can definitely wear them on our next Disney trip. For Jackson, I picked up one new pair of swim shorts. And of course, I went with the Star Wars theme, but this time we have Star Wars and Legos together. And for Mackenzie, I chose this really cute Minnie Mouse hat. I wanted to get her this hat because I have one that's very similar. I'll go ahead and show it to you. I got this hat at Disneyland and it was $25. And it has a little Minnie Mouse ears, just like that. But at Walmart, I was able to find the kids version for under $10. Next, I have a toy that is not Disney themed, but I know the kids are gonna be excited to see these. These are Mega Grow Eggs. Inside each of these eggs, the kids are going to find a dinosaur toy, but to be able to open it, they're going to have to put the egg in water and wait a while. Next, I have a couple of tasty treats, starting with one of my favorites, the mini Cadbury eggs. These are chocolate inside with a crunchy coating on the outside, definitely an Easter classic. Next, I'm giving each of the kids a Kinder Joy egg. They definitely love these. Chocolate on the outside, with a little toy on the inside. They have a pink version and a blue version, which basically means the difference between a girl type toy and a boy type toy. For a non-sweet treat, I also got them each a bag of the cottontails. These are so cute, but they're actually white cheddar cheese balls. So kind of like a cheese puff, but white. Now these baskets are getting pretty full, so I just have a couple more things. 
For each of the girls, I picked up one of these unicorn headbands. The purple is for Lily and the pink is for Mackenzie. These look really fun. I think they're going to love them. And then for Jackson, I didn't think he'd want a unicorn headband. So instead I got him this squishy creature toy. Now lastly, to top it all off, I got each of the kids one of these really funny foam masks. I think we'll be able to take some really silly pictures with these. Now that is everything in the older kids' baskets. Let me show you what I'm putting in my toddler's basket. Now just like with the big kids, I started by getting Griffin a book. This is a Mickey on the farm touch and feel book. I know he's going to love it. The touch and feel books are definitely his favorite. I also got him his own thing of bubbles. These are the Mickey themed bubbles and I will definitely need to help him with these. I don't think he can do them all on his own quite yet. I also got Griffin a set of the treat containers and I also plan on putting cheddar bunnies and fruit snacks in them. I also got him this really fun bunny ring toss game. This comes with an inflatable bunny and all you have to do is throw the rings around the bunny ears. I think this is something that he can definitely do at his age and his siblings can play as well. I also got him this really fun twirly ribbon wand. Now I didn't get him a lot of candy, but I did go ahead and get him one of these chocolate dinosaur egg treats just like the older kids. I definitely don't think he'll eat all of this, but if I gave one to the other kids and not to him, he would notice. Now for the older kids, I gave them the Cadbury eggs. But for Griffin, I went ahead and got three of the brownie bars instead. These are made with whole grain, chocolate, fruit, and dates. Definitely one of his favorite treats. I did go ahead and get him his own bag of the cheddar cheese balls, otherwise known as cottontails. I definitely think he can handle eating these. And I also got him his own package of the Happy Baby Yogurt Bites. These are in the strawberry flavor and it's basically a freeze-dried yogurt. Now, just like the big kids, I also wanted to get Griffin something that would last longer than just Easter day or Easter week. So I went ahead and got him these really cute shoes. I found these at Walmart and they were just over $10. They won't fit him right away, but he'll have something to grow into. I also got him this really cute bathtub toy. This is a wind-up fish and the little tail is supposed to go back and forth and scoot around the water. And finally, just like the older kids, I got him one of these bunny masks. And last but not least, one more Disney item. I got the kids a set of the Easter eggs to share. These already have candy and stickers inside and it'll be really fun for them to find them in the backyard. Okay friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Now if you'd like to see what I put in my kids' Easter baskets last year, you can do that by clicking on the link up here. And if you'd like to see yesterday's video, you can click on the link down there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.